Hey there YouTube, California Prepper here. Well, I just checked the mail and I got the new HK 2013 catalog. So I figured, why not check it out with you guys. So, after opening it, because <laughs> for some reason you have to cut this thing open even though it came in an envelope. Um, inside cover. No compromise. For more than half a century, Heckler & Koch has been a leading designer and manufacturer of military, law enforcement, and civilian arms. HK commitment to quality, innovation, and safety makes them an industry leader in reliability and technology. This dedication continues with HK Knives, where superior edge tools combine leading technology with practical design. These advancements are deployed throughout the product line with technologies like Nitrous Assist and OTF. In addition, aerospace industry tolerant standards provide a complimentary fit and finish. Our customers live the HK motto, no compromise. And for this reason, you have our commitment that we will continuously pursue innovation and performance in all products we offer. HK. And it shows these cool seals doing tactical stuff. Really makes you want to go out and buy these knives, doesn't it? Um, at the price point, I really, um, tell you the truth, I really don't see, um, really the difference in their products. I mean, for those that don't know, Heckler & Koch is, um, made by Benchmade. Um, I think I have my, I do have one Heckler & Koch knife. It was actually a gift, uh, from, who was it a gift from? Somebody threw it in as a little extra. I think it was uh, Fred Hart from the Gear Obsession channel. Let me find it here in this new box of mine. This is uh, the only HK knife I have. This is the Pika 2. And as it looks, um, this is pretty much Benchmade's um, Endura, um, I guess you would call it. Um, that's what I think it is. I don't think it's the Delic. I think it is the Endura. Um, you know, the Spyderco knife. This is uh, pretty much Benchmade's uh, version of it uh, with the HK name on it. So this is the HK Pika 2. Uh, all around, it's a great knife. It's a lockback knife. I've done a review on it um, on my channel. And it's a great knife, but I really don't see the superior quality. I would way rather have a Benchmade um, over an HK knife personally. Um, and I mean, at these price points, it's, it's unreal that they, they can even sell. Um, like 160 bucks for for that. I'd rather have a Griptilian and I get it for a hundred. You know, I, I I'm not gonna down them on on that, but I I really don't see um, why the hell they would charge that much for their knives. It's just unreal. I guess I should uh, show you guys what I'm talking about here. The first page here. These top knives, these here are running 160 to 175. Now that to me is just outrageous when you can get a Griptilian for 100. Down here you're looking at the Scorch Code 3, still 225. No way, are you serious? The Epidemic, I see this is a out the front uh, OTF. You know, 285, 300. I can understand that, considering you know, Microtex or 4, 500, uh, for you know, out the fronts. You know, 285, 300. Again, that's understandable. But, but, I mean, some of these knives is just, just ridiculous. I mean, I don't think there's a knife in here that's under a hundred dollars. Oh, I take that back. Sixty bucks right there. And you get under three inches of blade. Pretty crappy looking little knife, if you ask me. Unless somebody wants to send it to me for free, and then it's not crappy looking. <laughs> that's pretty cool looking. The HK Conspiracy folder. Hey, and that's only a hundred bucks. That's cool. It's imported. Ah, okay. So Benchmades are all made in the USA, but they can import their HK knives. I see how how they work over there. There's the Pika. Let's see if they have the Pika 2's in here. 
I'm not down in Heckler and Koch at all. Um, but, uh, man, Les Deassis, that's his name, right? Yeah, the, the owner and CEO of, founder, owner, CEO, whatever, of Benchmade. I mean, for being a stand-up guy and all-American and stuff, I don't see how he could go and brand himself with HK. I really don't. Um, HK is a great gun company. Uh, I love their designs, but from what I've heard, they are completely against uh, Americans' Second Amendment rights. For some reason, for them being a gun company, I don't understand why they would be against, you know, our, our rights to bear arms, but that's just what I've heard, and uh, for that reason alone, plus these outrageous prices, and I, I really don't see the difference in their quality. I'd way rather have a Spyderco. Um, for, for the price or a bench made. Uh, this is a great knife. It's a great utility knife. Um, I've put it through some, some work already and it's still uh, razor sharp with every two magazines around here. I mean, it, it, it's still making me look like a liar here. It's still razor sharp. It can still, you know, do the job. Yeah, not working for me right now, but uh, definitely not worth um, the extra, extra hundred bucks for something like this, you know, because you know they're going to charge you at least an extra hundred bucks for the name. Uh, so anyway, that's going to do it for now, guys. Hopefully you guys, um, don't hate me too much for not being a HK lover, but that's just my opinion. That's how the California Prepper feels, and, uh, sorry. Uh, that's going to do it for now, guys. Talk to you soon. California Prepper, out of here.